Hello everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We had five drivers seeing action this weekend as the 2021 racing season starts to wind down. But let's get right to this week's results. Anthony Alfredo was at Kansas Speedway for the NASCAR Cup Series Hollywood Casino 400 in his number 38 Speedy Cash Ford Mustang. Let's check in with Anthony for a post-race recap. Unbelievable. He's had an excellent day here at Kansas Speedway going for us. Ran inside the top 20 all day at a really fast Speedy Cash Ford Mustang, which we expected because uh, this is one of our best intermediate tracks based on how we ran in the spring. Had a great car here then and brought another one. So proud of everyone at Front Row Motorsports, but blew left front tire and pounded the fence down and that was it. Our day was over. So extremely uh, disappointed, but it just... It's, it doesn't matter if we're having a good day or a bad day. It seems like things go wrong every week, and this is a test uh, that you know someone's behind and we're going to face as a team, and we're going to pass it. Up next for Anthony, the famous paperclip at Martinsville Speedway on Sunday, and you can catch all of the action on NBC at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Cassidy Hines made her second start in the SRL Pro Late Model Series at Kern County Raceway Park for the 33rd annual October Classic and her number 88 Nate Clower Motorsports Ford. Let's check in with Cassidy for a post-race recap. Hi everyone, I raced my Nate Clower Motorsports Pro Late Model this weekend at Kern County Raceway in my second SRL Pro Late Model race this year. I didn't do as good as I had hoped, but it was definitely not the worst I could have done. I ended up qualifying 11th and I finished 10th in the main event I learned a lot and I spent a majority of the time trying to figure out the draft. Um, I was struggling trying to get around some cars in front of me, but I feel like I definitely learned a lot and I'm ready to race there again next year and hopefully I'll be that much more experienced when I do. I couldn't have done it without the Nate Clara Motorsports team, the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation, Race Face Brand Development, my parents for all their support. Frontier Restoration, Fort Worth Screen Printing, Commit to Fitness, and Driven Race Gear. Up next for Cassidy, Tucson Speedway and the Turkey Shoot on November the 27th. Brody Moore was making his SRL Pro Late Model debut at Kern County Raceway Park in again the 33rd annual October Classic. Let's check in with Brody for his take on the weekend. Hey everyone, we just got back in Colorado for my first Spears as a SRL Pro Late Model race at Kern County Raceway Park, which is an awesome facility. We had a very consistent top 5 to top 10 car for all practices and qualifying, so I'd like to thank Wilson Motorsports for all the hard work they did getting that car prepared. I'd also like to thank Nick King, my car chief for my number 14 Super Late Model, for making the trip out to California this weekend. We qualified 8th place, just making the pill drop. We pulled position number one for the main event, but our car was very loose all night. I was practically driving a drift car. So if anybody knows anyone with a drift car, please reach out to us. This weekend was a great learning experience, and we'll come back faster and more skilled for next time. I couldn't do this without the help of my sponsors, California Apartment so Associations, Valley Insurance Plan, Assurance Risk Managers, Spring Hill Suites by Marriott at Madeira, Race Face Advancement, and French Jacqueline. Thank you. Brody is now focusing on the 2022 season. Great job this year, Brody. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll check in on two more of the Race Face family of drivers. Plus, we have a free gift just for you, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Joe Valento, and you're watching Race Face TV. Caden Honeycutt returned to the dirt after wrapping up his 2021 Cars Tour season by finishing second in points and winning Rookie of the Year honors. Caden competed in the Fall Classic at Heart of Texas in both a factory stock and a pro modified. Let's check in with Caden for his post-race recap. Hey everybody, it's Caden Honeycutt here. The Fall Classic has ended, but we had a heck of a weekend in the modified and the factory stock over at uh, my girlfriend's stepdad's house. We had a great weekend. We won the qualifiers in both classes. Uh, the feature didn't go quite well. Uh, we redrew a four and the factory stock we drew, redrew a three and it became a very one lane rubbered up racetrack, unfortunately, but uh, we salvaged a P3 in this car and uh, unfortunately in the factory stock, we wrecked out on lap two, just trying to get in line and uh, had somebody hop over the wheel and just splitting the axle into three pieces. That was unusual, but we had a great weekend. Appreciate all everybody's support. And uh, we're going to go race this car again at our 37 in Pleasanton, Texas uh, for a thousand to win on Saturday night. So we'll see you guys then. Up next for Caden, Dirt Pro Mods this weekend at I-37 Speedway. Caden also made a big announcement that he will be driving for Ben Kennedy Racing in the 54th Annual Snowball Derby at Five Flags Speedway on December 2nd through the 5th. Joe Valento was at Ace Speedway in his number 17 DGR late model stock Ford Performance Mustang for the $10,000 to win 8th Annual Rodney Cook Classic. Joe qualified 21st and had worked his way up to 12th before he blew a left front tire, sending him into the wall on lap 99, ending his day. Other race for face drivers seeing action this weekend include Defending truck champion Sheldon Creed will be at Martinsville Speedway attempting to make it into the final round in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series on Saturday, October the 30th, live on FS1 at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Also want to congratulate Sheldon on his announcement that he'll be driving the number two Whelan Chevrolet in the NASCAR Xfinity Series next year for Richard Childress Racing. Jesse Love will be back in action with Chris Wimmer Motorsports in the super late model at this weekend's 37th running of the All-American 400 at Nashville Fairgrounds on October 29th through the 31st. Jake Bowman will also compete in the All-American 100 Pro Late Model race at Nashville Fairgrounds with Rackley War Racing. And Carter Whalen will return to Metro Atlanta Quarter Midget Association on October 30th. We would like to give a special shout out to Cole Denton, who finished second in the nation in the INEX Bandits, as well as winning the Mississippi State Bandit Championship and the Chris Motorsports Park Track Bandolero Championship. Congratulations, Cole. The Race Face family of drivers would like to thank all of our loyal fans by giving you a free one-year membership in the Speed Zone Mall to help you save money and earn cash back when shopping online at over 2,500 of your favorite stores. It's simple. Visit your favorite Race Face Drivers website, go to the Fan Zone, and click on Free Membership. Well, that's it for this week's Race Face Driver updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at Race Face TV On Demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Make sure to check us out at the Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.